Hi, my name is Dr. Kim Kenville and I am the Program Director for the Master's Degree in Aviation here at the University of North Dakota. I'm going to take you on a little journey on this informational video and we're going to talk about the UND Master's Degree in Aviation. So a lot of people ask us, is your program online? Yes, it's online and it's synchronous, which means it's live. That means that both the on-campus students and the online students are in class together at the same time. It's a great learning platform because you get to learn a lot of things from a lot of different people. When you ask why should I choose the University of North Dakota Aviation Department, I can tell you that we have a stellar reputation in the aviation industry. We teach in an online format and we use a wide spectrum of students to learn from. You'll sit in class with people doing a myriad of aviation jobs all over the country, which really gives you kind of a robust platform for learning. The other great thing is we have actual UND Aviation faculty in the classroom. So they're teaching undergrad, they're doing research, and then they're teaching your graduate faculty classes. We have numerous centers of excellence and test centers for unmanned aerial systems and a lot of other things going on. So I can really tell you that you'll get a really well-rounded education here at the University of North Dakota. People often ask me, well, how long does it take to actually do this degree? Well, the average student takes about two to three years to finish, depending upon if you choose to do a thesis option or an independent study. Most of our students are working adults and they take one to two courses per semester. So you can kind of pencil in two to four years as a rough estimate on how long it'll take you to finish this program. The university guidelines say that you have seven years to complete the degree, otherwise you have to start taking classes over again. The online application process is pretty simple and it's found at the UND School of Graduate Studies website and it's called My Grad Space. So you go online and you fill out questions on this application, submit it electronically, it gets sent out to me and I act on it and you'll know if you've been accepted to the UND Masters in Aviation program. So just what are the criteria to get into our program? Well, in order to get admitted, we ask that you have a private pilot's license or some sort of aviation industry experience. We also require the GRE. That's the Graduate Record Examination. That is basically the ACT test for graduate school. This isn't a waivable requirement. You need to take it. So go online, Google GRE, and find a test center located near you. If you have taken the GRE before, we like it to be within the last five years. Students will also ask, I've taken the GMAT because I want to enter a Master's of Business program. We will substitute a GMAT score for a GRE score. The one score we won't substitute is an LSAT. So if you've taken the law school entrance exam, the LSAT company will not send that to a non-law school application. So we cannot take the LSAT. We ask that you have an undergraduate degree in aviation. If you don't, hopefully you have some credits towards an aviation degree. And we're looking for a three-point OGPA undergraduate coming out of your bachelor's program. So, if I get admitted, what do I have to do to get the degree? Well, we have six core classes and they're listed there in their numbers and you can go on the course catalog and read about them. The 997 or 998 is either your independent study or your thesis. So as you're moving through the program, you would decide which one you want to do, either an independent study project or a full-blown thesis, which is original research. The rest of the coursework is electives, and again, we've listed the 500 level courses there. All the coursework in the master's has to come from the 500 level courses, that is a graduate course. So we don't accept any undergraduate coursework in our master's degree program. A course is typically one night per week for three hours at a time. So for instance, last night, I taught aviation economics on central time zone, and class ran from 6.30 to 9.30. It's live, and we expect that you're in class and attending. We also archive or save the classes after we've taught them on our learning management system so you can go back and look at them again. Again, most students working full time, they take between one and two courses per semester. If you're not working, you can probably take three courses. Still, the program is going to take about two years to complete. What are the elective courses? Well, there's anything from management to safety to human factors to ethics. We have public policy, environmental issues, safety management systems, organizational behavior, which we call advanced management theory. There's a series of three different human factors courses, human error, information systems, cockpit design. These three courses are taught by our aeromedical doctor here on staff. We have a labor relations class. We have strategic airport management class, ethics. And then there's some individualized courses that you can choose from if your professor uh, wants to do an individual project with you as a student. 
Often people say, well, do you have a specialization or a minor or a track? We don't really have tracks per se. Our master's is really a broad-based master's and you kind of choose your track by which electives that you decide to take. There are many graduate programs here at the University of North Dakota and you are free to take any 500 level graduate course from any other department on campus. However, if you're an online student, you want to make sure that those classes are taught online. But there's anything from instructional design to entrepreneurship, psychology, human factors, safety, and then we have an online space studies program as well here at UND. So what do I have to do to graduate from this program? Well, you have to successfully complete all the requirements, which are the required and elective courses. If you're going to take a thesis, you will take 27 credits, which is nine courses, and then you will take a four credit thesis class. If you decide to do an independent study, then you will do 30 credits plus the two credit independent study and comprehensive exams for a total of 32 credits. So it all really depends upon what you decide to do, independent study or a thesis. One thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to have a 3.0 out of a 4.0 in graduate education. That doesn't mean that you can't get a C, but it better mean that you have enough A's to offset your C's. If you fall below 3.0 at the University of North Dakota, you will be dismissed from graduate school. Tuition. Everybody wants to know, what's it going to cost me? I can tell you without a doubt that tuition is never going to be cheaper than it is today. So what you want to do is look at the UND graduate tuition rates. So you go on the UND website at und.edu, hit T for tuition, and then go to the graduate rates. There's a North Dakota rate, a contiguous state rate, and then out of state. We handle all of the webcasting in-house here at UND Aerospace. So after you take a class, it will be archived, like I said, on our learning management system, and you'll be able to view those courses again. So how do I apply for this? Like I said earlier, the application is found at the UND School of Graduate Studies website. It's called mygradspace.edu. It's an online application, so everything goes fairly quickly. A couple of little tidbits I'll give you to make sure that you have the most successful application you can is when we ask you for three recommendations, make sure that you choose people that know your aptitude and that will actually do the recommendation when it comes to their email. You'll provide us with three email addresses and we'll email them a form and they need to fill it out and upload it back to us. So again, I can't tell you how many times I've looked at an application and we're just waiting for one more recommendation to come in. So choose people wisely. You wanna make sure to upload your resume or your pilot's license. If you have a pilot's license, please scan it and upload it as one of the documents. If you don't, please put your resume in place of that so we can look at your aviation industry experience. You also want to make sure that you write your personal statement. And so many people start their personal statement by telling me that they got interested in aviation when they were six with their parent and they went out to an airport. And that's really great. But what I really want to know is why you want to do this degree and what your future goals are. We want to make sure that we align our students with our faculty and that we're giving the very best product we can. So if I don't know why you want to be a part of our program and what you really want to get out of this program, it leaves me with a little bit of question. Also, I'm checking your writing ability at this time. So make sure when you write your statement that you edit it and proofread it and look at it a few times. Make sure you have your GRE sent to the UND School of Graduate Studies so it becomes part of your package. And if English is not your first language, make sure to take the TOEFL exam or the IELTS exam and have that in your application package. What if I don't meet some of that admission criteria? I'd like to tell you that it's cut and dried, there's no other way to get in, but as everybody knows, there's always different ways that you can access graduate education. The first is we talked about approved admission status, meaning you meet all the requirements that UND has for you. If you don't quite meet them, but you still want to get in, we need to have a conversation about that. You can be admitted as a qualified student, which means you're missing a required element. Usually this is that you haven't taken the GRE. And I'll give you an example. A lot of times July will roll around and someone will want to be in the graduate program starting in August, and we don't have time to take the GRE exam. So what I can do is admit you on a qualified status and give you up to one semester to have that finished. That's the most I'm willing to give you is one semester to finish the GRE. If you've taken the GMAT exam for an MBA program, we will accept that. Just make sure your test scores are within five years of current. Anything over the five years will make you retake the test. Provisional status, let's say that you are asking for admission and you had a fairly low GPA in your undergraduate. It happens to all of us, believe me. 
and you're not quite meeting the standards for application, I can admit you on provisional status and then basically put some provisional marks that you have to meet in your first year. And as soon as you meet those, we'll take the provision off your status. Again, my name is Dr. Kim Kenville. I am the Graduate Program Director for the Aviation Department. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and you make it a great day.